Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Data Toolkit. My name is Sakshi and in today's tutorial we will learn about the joints. What is SQL joints? What is the interview questions on joints? What is anti-join, not anti-join? So we will see one by one everything you will get in one video. So let's discuss with joints. So joints is nothing but join at the column by combining the data from multiple tables it find the related record based on common column so we need the common column for the condition then types of join so there are inner join left join right join full join and cross join so inner join what we are doing in inner join we are simply taking matching record from both the table so you can see this is my table a left uh, left side table and this is my table b we can consider right side table this is the department table, this is the employee table. What left join is defined? Matching record from both the table, non-matching record from left table. It is also considering null. Same for the right join, matching records from both the table and non-matching record from right side and we are considering the null values in right join. Full join we will get the matching records from both the table and non-matching record plus con uh, consider the null values. In cross join it is meaning every row from the first table is combined with the every row from the second table. It is written the Cartesian product of two tables. Means suppose there are 5 rows then 5 into 5. Total how many? 25 like this. So what we will do guys? We will first do the counts on the joins and then we will see the queries and interview questions. So you can see anti join is nothing but it return row without a match in other table. So there might be a left join plus where right table column is null then non exist and not in. So not in is only safe when subquery has no nulls. If you talk about the not anti join it return row that are match or fully combined across both tables. So there are inner join, left join, right, full outer, cross join, self join. These all are nothing but it is a non anti join. Okay. Now we will see the count first. So it will be easy to understand. So if you see here in employee table, we have the department ID which is common column in both the table. Okay. So what will be the inner join? So what we will do? We will compare each row with the right table. So first count is, first number is 10, right? 10 department ID. So we have the 10, yes, we have the 10 count, right? So we will take 10 record. Then we have a 20. So in other table also we have the 20, right? So this is also matching record. Then null, we are not considering null in the inner join, okay? Then 40, so we don't have the 40 and 30. Yes, we do have the 30. 30. So, got. Okay. So, what co counts we will get? 3, right? 3 records. We will see these letter. First, we will see all the counts. 3. Then, what you have to do? Simply, you have to take all 3s for left, right, and full. Then, what we will do here? In the left join, what is the definition of left join? Matching record from both the table means we already have the inner join. We are taking the inner join as it is like 3. Then non-matching record from left table and it is also considering the null. So if you see this is our left table. So we already took 3 and what is the non-matching record? Null, right? This is null and 40 that means 2. So what is the count of left join? 5. Same if you see right join, we have the 3 matching record plus what is the non-matching record in the right table? 50 and null, right? So 2. So what is the count of right join? 5. Then full join. 3 plus 2 plus 2. You no need to see anywhere, you no need to do any calculation. Simply see the left join non-matching record and right join non-matching record. Then how much count? 5, 6, 7. So this is our final count. 
Now we'll check the query. In Cartesians, cross join means nothing but 5 and 5 found. It's 25. I hope guys this is clear. Now we will see the result one by one. For the inner join first we will see. If you see I have written the inner query. It is very simple. Select employee ID, employee name, department name. From employees, inner join, department, on which condition, department ID. So let me execute this. So you can see here we are getting the three records. right now if we talk about the left join this is about the inner join now left join how many records we want we want the five records so these three we are taking as it is non-matching record which is non-matching record 103 Amit, right? Neha is not matching. Okay, so this is the our left join. Now let me check the result. So you can see here we are getting the expected result. Here we will get the uh, not 10, 20, 30 guys. Here we will get the department names. Okay. Then next is right join. Same again we will get this. And what is the non-matching record in right table? 50 and null, right? Add me and not assign. So let me check the output for the right join. Yes. So we are getting the output as expected. So guys, sometimes they will not ask you about the count of the joins, but yes, they will uh, expect the result set. Uh, so you can uh, give the result set like this. It's about the interview questions now. So if you see, when would you use left join instead of inner join? So use left join when you want to all the records from left table, even if there are no match in the right table. Okay which is I have already shown you. Second question, what happens when there is no match in left join? There are again alternate way to ask this question, how to get employees without department? So you can simply write the query left join query where department is null. So you will get the employees without department. See, department is null. Why left join returns more rows than inner join? So let me execute this first. You can see five count we already seen, right? And there are the three counts for the inner join. So why this is happening? Because Neha and Amit don't match any condition, right? And that's why it is showing more records in the left join. Next question, what happened if forget the on clause in join so guys it is throwing the error like missing keyword you can see this so if they ask you in the interview you can simply say it will throw the error next question why do we use union for the full outer join in some cases so you can see we can count the full outer join by using the full outer join and we are we can also use the union so some databases like MySQL is not supporting uh, to the full outer join. That's why we are taking union. So let me show you both the queries. 
so how we are using union for the full outer join so we are first simply taking the left join query then right join query oh, sorry guys yeah so we are simply taking left join query first then right join query and we do the union so let me show you the result so you can see here seven records our count for the full join is also seven then simply you can use the full outer join on the condition okay next question which join return the most rows so of course the cross join is return more rows okay so you can see the cross join we will get total 25 record see our count is also 25 so what it is doing what it is doing here it is calculating five times My, means 101 we have five times then 102 five times 103 five times 104 five times likewise for all the records in the table next question which join is default join so yes inner join is default join see then what is the difference between the join and union so you can see here in the join it will give the result column wise and in the union it will, it will give the result like uh, row wise so let me show you can see it is giving the column wise result and here it is giving the row wise result next question how do null value affect joins so you can simply say null values do not match each other this means null is equal to null written false in a join condition in inner join such row are excluded in outer joins they are appear with the null from the unmatched table so in our database null is a missed department won't join with anything right so in this way guys this is very important chapter and very important concepts in the sql joins so you can remember you will get everything in one video you will get all the definitions types what is anti-join non-anti-join how to find out the counts and queries so if you feel this video is informative, please like, comment and share this video. Thank you for watching. Keep growing and learning.